Hey guys, Reef Noob here, and today I'm going to give you my final review of the Purple Helix Chlorine Algae in a Bottle. Now, you know, as you know, that I have uh, first really started with this because, uh, as you guys know, with my aquarium, with my water box, is that I have the Carib Sea um, Life Rock. Uh, the reason I went with it for is because I didn't want to go with uh, Live Rock, and I and just basically I didn't want to go with the pests that come with it. I know when I first started off with my tank uh, last time, this is back in like 2004, and when I first got into the hobby, I had Life Rock, and I got a, an enormous amount of pets um, that came with it. So, you know, I wanted to, you know, limit the amount of pets that I got into into my aquarium. So I went with this Carib C uh, Life Rock, as you see here, it does have some of the purple in it, naturally into the, the rock that they place itself. So it's gonna kind of hard to identify if, um, if any of the coralline algae actually placed within the system. So, but I, as you guys know, I, I did initially try this back in, in February and it didn't do well for me at all. I, I really didn't see anything, uh, any type of growth on it. Um, and then Carib's, uh, the, the company itself uh, reached out to me and they basically say, hey, we wanna give you guys another try. We have you know pretty much good results with this uh, product and um, but don't forget, guys, I didn't have any presence of coralline, of coralline algae in my system at all. So it's going to be kind of hard for the, the normal bacteria to take place within my system. So, but, uh, and also to identify it, too, as you see here on the sides. Uh, I mean, the majority of the time I look in the back wall, and really there's nothing, you know, taking, taking full there. Now, I do have an urchin, and they did specify that they don't recommend this product with an urchin. But my urchin mostly stayed on the main, uh, this pretty much that um, my top two rocks for the pretty much the whole month. It's been up there the whole entire time. So I can say maybe if some coral algae maybe possibly connected there, but it didn't really go into the crevices of the, you know, kind of like in there. So there could be some coral algae growth in there that I'm not really seeing. So, but as of right now, for a month out, unfortunately, that I don't really see any type of growth now. Here's a here's a uh, really good fun uh, interesting fact though. Uh, my snails, uh, my margarita and uh, Astrid snails. Like if I can find one that had that. Oh, here he is. Let me see. I'm gonna focus in on him a little bit. Now he does have some coralline algae growing on him, and I have seen with another one some uh, increase in coralline algae. So with that, guys, I can say that it does help seed the, the aquarium system. But as you kind of look here, guys, there really isn't that much, you know, and this is like going into areas that, you know, as you see here, I do have a green hair algae problem, but I'm, I've uh, employed more forces of my cleanup crew to kind of uh, help combatant. I've added some trogus snails, margarita, and astro snails are really keeping my coralline, or my, green hair algae under control under my main system. It's funny that they have it growing on themselves, but pretty much on the, the main rocks that you would see the increased growth of the of the algae, um, you know, present. And also in the back where I really can't get to clean it. But my, my guys are keeping it under control. It's a nuisance in certain areas, but uh, you know, as you said, it's maintaining. I've also employed some hermit crabs, as you see here. But uh, going back to the coralline algae, like I said, guys, you know, I don't know if that is coralline algae or is that's the color for, uh, but I do think, if I see it right there, that looks like coralline algae. So, you know, after inspecting it, it, I'll say that it, it probably does, it probably does work. If the more coralline algae present that you have in your system, the better off you would be. So uh, I will still give it a, a thumbs up on, because the company does stand behind their product. If you don't really find that it didn't work for you, hey, reach out for them. They might send you another bottle like they did. You know, they, they saw my video. They were, you know, they wanted to, uh, you know, make sure that I was completely satisfied with the uh, uh, the product itself. So uh, basically, guys, I'm, unfortunately for me, I do see it. I, I didn't see like some videos I watched too of this product, of people trying it out and they had like blooms of it in the back wall. Unfortunately, I didn't, my water parameters are perfect. I don't, I can't get any better than what I have now. My lights, I didn't have blasting, like they do recommend full blast. 
because um, I do have it at my set parameters for this tank, so I don't really burn out my cor my uh, my hammer curls. Uh, so, but uh, unfortunately, it it you know I I'm not saying that it's going to happen now, but it, eventually I'm going to have coralline allergy. It's just going to take more time. Uh, maybe it's with my system because like some people that do have coralline allergy already present, that's definitely going to seed your product. So it, it it will work for you. But if you if you have a system that does not have any present whatsoever. It might take a little bit longer for it to, to take hold. It might be in the it might be really in the crevices of the of the rock, and it's kind of growing out from that point. So that it could be. So my rock could be like kind of like growing from the, within the inside of coralline algae. So, but we'll see. Uh, like I said, guys, it's only really like a month out from when we reseeded it again. Um, so, but there you go. That's my review, guys. So again, this is the purple helix in the bottle, coralline algae. Um, like I said, it's a little hard for my system to take fold, but it still might work for you. Like I said, again, guys, this is a really good company. They do stand behind their product. It's just, unfortunately, it didn't, uh, it didn't like really didn't see an excessive bloom within my system. So, but, uh, there you go. Uh, if you guys like what I'm doing, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to uh, do for me. Uh, again, uh, I'm going to be going to Reef of Palooza coming up here in June. So hopefully I see you guys there. And if you guys, well, you definitely will notice me because I'll have the uh, Reef Noob shirt with my little logo of my clownfish. And, uh, but everybody else is doing good um, within my system. And uh, my sump still has, uh, I'm actually having in my sump uh, an excessive amount <laughs> of algae growth. But hey, I'm going to rather have it in a really bad algae growth within my sump rather than within my display tank. And like I said, I've employed hermit crabs now um, and they're cleaning my... Uh, my substrate so uh, we'll see how everything goes so uh, again guys uh, subscribe if you like what I'm doing to keep some updates we're close to that 100 mark and I do plan to give out a uh, bulk, uh, $25 bulk resupply gift card once we hit that mark it's saying a thank you for you guys all right talk to you guys later